Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Almost a Pyraminx puzzle. Well, you have seen several of my Almost puzzles, Almost a Cube, Almost a Scoop, Almost a Gigaminx, so it is fairly obvious that we also needed an Almost a Pyraminx. And even though this looks almost like a Pyraminx, it absolutely is not. So we see the triangular faces, at first sight it looks like a regular pyraminx with a regular type of uh, pyraminx twisting, but no it isn't. If you look at the triangular face you see that there is a subtle curve. And the subtle curve is there because the dihedral angle is not 109.5 degrees, but it's slightly less. And because of the lower angle the whole pyramid gets distorted and I just was off by uh, a few degrees so the distortion is fairly minimal but sufficient for this effect. Also at the bottom, the blue face, you can see it's curved and it's concave, it's hollow. So the way this puzzle turns is, well let's make uh, one turn and another. And now we see why it's almost a pyraminx. We have a piece here that sticks out. And from this state we can uh, make more moves. But uh, if we want to make the move that uh, feels the most obvious, this move, it's bandaged, it doesn't turn. But this is not a bandaged pyraminx, it's really something different. And maybe you had already guessed from what we have here, this is uh, the rocket twist and these two puzzles, believe it or not, they are identical. The only thing that's different is the angles. This one is closer to 120 degrees, this one is closer to uh, 109.5 degrees, but the geometry is the same, the mechanism is the same. When we have a turn here, we have a turn here, we have the funny reorientation property of the rocket twist. If I turn it like this, that we have reoriented the rocket in space and even though for the uh, almost a pyraminx the moves are, uh, the, it's a bit more subtle, um, also this one has the same um, reorientation property. One thing that's also interesting is uh, when we compare the two is naming the pieces. When looking at this it's fairly obvious that we should call this a corner piece, this functions like an edge piece and this piece in the center, well, it's a center piece. So the naming is obvious, however let's look at their equivalence. So we call this a corner, but actually in the almost a pyraminx it sort of acts like a center. For a pyraminx we could, would call this probably a center and say well the puzzle doesn't have any corners because look at the other side, it's not, uh, there's nothing there. And we would call off each of these, we could co should call them edges. But that is uh, strange because this yellow piece, it's a center and it's completely equivalent from the puzzle perspective with the w this one and here we call it an edge. So uh, what this shows is that even the naming of the pieces just by this uh, sort of shape mod, angle mod becomes uh, confusing. So my question to you about uh, these puzzles is, if you would have seen these puzzles next to each other without my explanation, would you have guessed that they are functionally completely identical? Thank you for watching.